guys. Oh, wait, we're gonna move it under the light. No. Uh, hi, Lopey. Yeah. How are you? I'm a little shaky. A little tired tonight? No, not tired, shaky. Oh, okay. And uh, how about you, Mark? I'm good. So where are you from, Mark? I'm from northeastern Pennsylvania. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a college professor at Wilson University. Oh, very good. And you came here to New York City, huh? Yeah. Terrific. And how about you, Lopi? Oh, I'm from Planet uh, Venus. Okay, that's a good place. I came place. down to check out what the and humans are what, doing. I've noticed something over here on the floor. Lopi, There's do you have any idea what this is? It looks like some sort of... Uh, a uh, tent like or sleeping capsule. I would yeah, let's look at this. Sleeping capsule. Wow. It looks like I have concerns about it though. Yeah. Well, tell us tell us what you think about this. I think it looks really ingenious, but I'm worried that the person who's in it is gonna suffocate. Okay. Um, right now there is a very efficient industrial uh, sized fish air pump. Oh, so it gets air in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the air tube comes in here. You've got a continual fresh supply of air. Uh, I've calculated that it's several times more than you would need. So the air continually stays uh, very similar to the outside air in terms of oxygen content. And it keeps you fully dry. Okay, so we're going to stay dry. We're going to have air. Yes. And it keeps your body heat in. A tent breathes because when you have, when you're, you know, camping, you don't have access to. Um, I mean, one reason is you don't have access to a, um, you know, power supply for a pump. But um, you know, if you do, then you can make it an airtight system with fresh air coming in and and then having exhaust air going out. Um, it keeps the wind away, keeps you dry, and it keeps you, it retains your body heat. So. Um, but the main feature of this is that it's clear and because it's clear we don't have to set off the you know 9-11 alarm bells for for police officers um, they can see that we are just a you know sleeping a group of sleeping um, occupiers well this is not such a big tent how many people are going to be in this one um, huh? just one this is a single okay, you tent. You could fit two people in here. Okay, if, if, as long as they two, two snuggling together, right? Two what do you, What do you think? How many people in this tent? Depends on how close you are. Well, uh, maybe uh, with your with a boyfriend, I guess. Certainly two, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't know about that, but yeah. Or a girlfriend, whatever it might be. Okay. A cuddle buddy. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So 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 two two could certainly uh, make it in here. Okay. And. Um, and could it, what how what about Mark what about in the winter I mean if it's you know 20 degrees and snowing how would it be in this in this little tent here well doesn't uh, seem very thick um, well no it's, it's six it's six mils okay 